A huge fire in Mogadishu's Bakara market has left dozens without a means of support. The blaze erupted Saturday night and raged for hours. Residents blamed an electrical malfunction for lighting the flames. <laughs> Firefighters did a fairly effective job once they arrived on the scene. Merchants did their best to protect their stocks. Hundreds fled. There were few reports of fire-related injuries. Many posting online said they heard from merchants that Al-Shabaab had issued threats tied to extortion. While the government will be hard-pressed to stop terrorists from lighting fires, there are a few lessons that can be learned from this tragedy and some resources put in place to prevent devastation in the future. A sprinkler system installed in the area could at least stop small fires from spreading. A rapid reaction alert system tied to a quick strike firefighting force could also be put in place. A continuous inspection regime could identify electrical problems before they become volatile. Firefighting training for merchants might also help quell a blaze before it gets out of hand. The fire that destroyed Hargeisa's largest open-air market should have been a warning of the devastating consequences of such a blaze. Millions of dollars of aid was sent to Somaliland, but still hundreds wouldn't be able to revive their businesses as a result. Somalia's capital city was fortunate that the fire didn't spread faster and destroy more lives. A few common sense steps might prevent such tragedies in the future. ADN TV will continue to report on safety issues affecting Somalia.